Hey guys, super pumped to show you this new library, Vocal Synths. So myself and Dan Ferguson, a producer from the UK, got together and decided to do this massive Vocal Synths library. Um, we've called it Vocal Synths because it's quite a few different um, vocal synths. It's not just one. Um, there's a total of 640 separate patches in this library made up of tens of thousands of vocal samples, both male and female. Um, we've got vowels, we've got formant up, formant down versions, we've got reverse samples, um, really aggressive, um, overdriven leads you can grab from this library. Um, you've got your typical young and free style um, chopped up vocal effects um, you can create with this library as well as um, a lot of other genres obviously use this kind of effect as well. Um, all of your pop artists are using it these days, like your Katy Perry's, um, Skrillex, uh, Justin Bieber, just to name a few. Um, obviously, there's this kind of effect in kind of all genres, I guess. Um, R&B, hip-hop, uh, dance. Um, yeah, um, it's very, very popular, this type of uh, vocal lead effect. But we've also gone further and created some really lush pad sounds from these vocals. Um, and yeah, just giving you um, endless kind of patches created from a um, bunch of female and male vocal recordings. Um, let me show you exactly what's in here. I'm going to show you the Logic and Main Stage template version. There's obviously an Ableton version that Dan is going to walk you through, um, but this walkthrough is for the Main Stage Logic users. So what you get here, you get Logic templates and Main Stage templates. Um, the reason why I've split them up into separate templates is um, one, just because it's easier to find what you're looking for and two, because it's actually too big. There's 640 different channel strips um, and Logic doesn't let you um, have that many channel strips in one Logic session, same with main stage. So I was forced to um, separate them into different main stage and Logic templates. But um, you don't obviously have to use them in the templates. You can import them into your own project or your own main stage template by using the patches. Um, so they're split up into um, vocal splice leads, uh, male and female, as well as all your vowel stuff, which also contains all your pads as well. And what I've done is I haven't um, exported every single individual patch because no one wants to kind of go through 640 separate patches to try to find what you're looking for. I've exported them as sets. So if you look at this one here, um, if you import that, it'll give you the whole set of the female vocal R's. So that's the way I've um, exported them. I'll just make it a little bit easier. Um, then you've got your sampler instruments, um, channel strips, full logic and main stage, and your samples. You'll download um, gigabyte samples and then just put them into a single samples folder and put them in your sampler instruments folder. I'm going to do a separate uh, walkthrough video showing you how to install the product um, but this is more of a kind of an overview of uh, what's in the library and how it sounds. Obviously on multitracks there's going to be a ton of audio examples um, and songs kind of using these effects to show you what you can create with them. Um, but like I said, I'm just going to do just a quick overview, show you the channel strips, uh, show you what's possible. Okay, let's get on to some audio examples. So I'm going to try to explain how this complex channel strip works. Um, it's all mapped to the mod wheel, so you can get some really cool effects just by moving the mod wheel up. Um, you get reverb uh, mixed in as the mod wheel goes up, and then at the very top it adds this pitch down an octave effect, which uh, sounds really, really cool. Um, you can have it clean as it's set by default, or you can turn on this channel strip to add overdrive. And if you want the patch to be a bit wider, turn on the specially designed delay, which is really fast left, right delay, and it just widens the sound even more. So I'm just gonna play you just something random, see what happens. I'm just gonna move the mod wheel up and down and show you kind of what's happening with this um, combination of effects.
that was just a quick muck around, um, just playing random notes um, and moving the mod wheel up and down. But you get a general idea of what's happening with that channel strip. And that's um, applied to all of these. Um, the pads are a little bit different, but I'll get to that. So that's a natural sounding um, female vocal sound. Then we've got form and up one and up two. And this gives you kind of your artificial um, kind of chip monkey, I guess is the easiest way to explain it. Um, effect on top of that. So let's show you how that works. Then we've got formant down. And then we move on to the loop stuff. And this is exactly the same, but it's looped. So these have a definite ending. These will loop indefinitely, so you can create really cool pads out of them. Um, so I'll skip all those. Yes, they sound the same as the ones above, but they're looped. Um, and then we get onto specially designed pad versions. And instead of the mod wheel blending in the reverb and that um, octave down effect that I was showing you before, um, the mod wheel is mapped to a low pass filter. So you can use them more like a traditional uh, pad. Um, and also you can turn on the tremolo if you want and that uh, creates a really slow panning left and right um, effect um, which kind of adds to the motion of the pad as well. So that's a natural sounding pad and then you've got the form and up, form and down uh, versions as well. Um, I'll just skip over those because they sound the same um, but obviously they got the channel strip tweaks like I just showed you. Okay um, I'll quickly go down and show you maybe a couple from the ooze but you get the general idea it's all the different vowel sounds. Um, so here's the female oo. So there you go, that's a quick overview of all the vowel sounds. So I'm just gonna close this one and open up uh, the male one and show you the vowels for the male really quickly. Okay, so here's the uh, male vowel version. I'm just gonna quickly go through some of these. Obviously I've already shown you the channel strips and they're the same for the male versions. So here we go.
So that's a quick overview of the vowel sounds. Obviously, if you want to hear more, just go to Multitracks and listen to the individual samples and the song demo there. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the chopped up lead sounds. Um, these are really cool, so let's do that. Okay, so I've opened up one of the female performances. Um, so what we did is we got um, female vocalist and a male vocalist to sing a chorus of a song. Then we chopped it all up um, and created these really cool lead effects from it. So just mucking around, you can get some really, really cool um, alternative kind of lead effects rather than just using the vowel sounds. So this is what um, producers will do for your popular um, pop songs, your young and free guys. They'll take a song, chop it up, format shift it, pitch shift it, um, distort it if need be, and this is uh, kind of the result they get after doing that. So I'll show you a few different versions. Um, there's obviously every single key here. So you just go in, uh, choose a key that you're playing in, um, and go from there. Um, they're not key specific, so C doesn't mean it's going to sing a C note. It's a song that's been chopped up, so any note you play will be, in this example, um, it'll work for the key of A. Um, and obviously relative minors will work, so A, um, F sharp minor will work uh, in the key of A. If you're picking the B one, obviously G sharp minor will work for that. Um, so you can basically use these in any key if you want. So here's a couple of audio examples using these. Obviously, the more you use this library, the more you get familiar with how to use them. But that was just a quick example using the natural sounding ones. Obviously, if you want it pitched up, um, you can get some really cool um, variations on that as well. So you get the general idea, you've got form it up, form it down. Um, the reverse ones are really cool too because you can even get it sounding kind of ethnic. So let's show you this. Let's get a different key. Um, let me pick this one and see what I can come up with. That's just a quick muck around. Obviously the um, audio examples are going to sound better than me just trying to come up with something on the fly, but you get the general idea. Um, so there's two different performances. This is the first one um, with a bunch of chopped up effects and obviously all the same channel strip um, settings apply. You can widen it, you can distort it if you want um, just by turning on those. I'll quickly show you the guy one as well. So let's do that. Okay, let's do some of these reverse ones because I really like these, but let's go form it down this time. <laughs> So again, just a quick rough demo um, of what you can create with these um, kind of chopped up reverse versions. Um, there's one more version I'll show you just quickly. It's the female extras. Okay, so these female extras are just a bunch of different runs that I got the female vocalist to do. Um, I only recorded them in F, um, that's why I've just labeled them extras. I thought I've recorded them, I might as well include them in the product. Um, and if you want, you can obviously get them into any other key by just uh, tuning them down. So by doing this kind of thing. So you can basically get every key um, by doing that. Another little trick inside here, try moving this to 12 and then doing really cool pitch shifting octave effects. Um, that's something that I like to do with these as well. So you can have a bit of fun with all those. Um, obviously we've got form it down, just like the other ones, reversed option versions. Um, but she's singing some really cool um, vocal lines. So you get some um, stuff like this just by holding even a single note down. <laughs> Okay, so that's a quick walkthrough. Obviously, I didn't get to cover all 640 patches, and I don't think anyone would want to listen to all 640 examples. But if you want more, just go to Multitracks and check out the audio examples there. Cool, that's it from me. Thanks again for watching.